Well, Gil Ferrada's club here again with Leicester Ardis head coach Rob Paternostro. Um, speak, speaking of the Worcester Wolves game, 75-57 earlier on this week. After a great quarter for Worcester, uh, you ended up taking control of the game. It was a brilliant win in the end. Just talk to me about it quickly. Yeah, it was a defensive game for us. I thought the first five minutes, uh, they got on top for us a little bit. Um, and as we went into the end of the first quarter, I thought we had picked it up on defense. I thought our second unit really came on and disrupted what they were doing. I thought that... Um, you know, using 10 players like we did, yeah. I thought uh, we were fresh uh, for the second half, and I thought defensively you saw that energy and aggressiveness from us on that end of the floor, and you know, to hold the team that has you know the weapons they have to, to, to that number it certainly was a satisfying defensive display, and it was also nice that uh, you know 10 players uh, contributed in the game. Speaking of Gino Crandall, of course, he's not out until the end of the season. Mo Walker returning as well, getting some minutes as. As, um, as, as, the, as the season comes towards the end. Just talk to me about that as well. And it, 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 must, it must be great for you to have Gino, Gino back until the end of the season, of course. Well, yeah, listen, uh, Manchester game, uh, having him back was, was a big lift for us. You know, uh, he's still not anywhere near 100%, mm. uh, but his intelligence and his ability to read the game uh, and his ability to uh, make plays is still on display. And I thought he played well uh, in Manchester. I thought he played well in Worcester too, really mm. well. And I think he's getting more and more comfortable where his hand's at. Um, and with Mo, yeah, it's a, it's a work in progress. Uh, we feel like that uh, he's not too far away. We feel like that over the next few games, he's gonna be able to give us some minutes when we need it. Uh, and I think it's a, you know, take it step by step with him. But um, yeah, to have both guys back is great. I think that um, we're trying to get everybody as healthy as possible as we hit the end of the season. Speaks to me about the Plymouth Raiders, of course, a team banging form and beating in March. Um, coach of the month, player of the month for player of the month for Ricky McGill. Just talk to me about that game tomorrow night. A real, a real top of the table clash. Sure, yeah, they're good. You know, I think they've proven that that they're a good team. I think defensively they've been good this season. You start looking at the statistics, yeah. that jumps off the page. Is their defense has been solid. Uh, the coaches have done a good job with that team. Uh, I think that McGill is really coming into his yeah. own. I think when you looked at his career, you knew that he had that explosive scoring in him. And he's done a good job with it so far. You know, he's played really well. Um, so, yeah, it's a good team. We haven't played them since, uh, I think, December, yep. I think it was. Um, so, yeah, it uh, seems like so long ago when we played them last. Uh, it should be an excellent encounter in here. And, you know, two teams that have played good defense this year, so it should be a real defensive game. Following that, of course, of, 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 of course, it's going to be Newcastle Eagles and London Lions as well. A real tough run towards the end of the season. Still got most of the teams to play, but of course, uh, of course, of course, of course, you're in a great position going forward. Three is the magic number, or maybe one. We're in a good position, but um, yeah, you know, we got a lot of tough games ahead. So uh, there's been no talk for us about anything other than the next opponent, and that's the fact. Um, we're focused in on Plymouth. When the Plymouth game ends, we'll turn our attention to the next game. But I think at this stage of the season. Uh, it's important to um, continue to focus on uh, what's ahead of you, what you can control. And um, yeah, our guys have done a good job this year, physically, but also mentally. And I think that uh, as you, you know, come to the end of the season, um, you know, when your body may be not as fresh as it was in the beginning, the mind has to be fresh and the mind has to, you know, make sure we make the right, correct decisions in these type of games because uh, the teams we're playing are good. I was going to say, of course, about of, of course about the permutations, three or one. Is it something you really concern yourself with, or, or or at this point, is it not really in the forefront of your mind? Yeah, I mean, it's there. You know what your record is, and you yeah. know what other teams' records are, but we don't talk about it as a team. Yeah. You know, we haven't really discussed anything other than the next opponent. And that's a fact. Um, we're worried about uh, you know who we're playing and how we can defend them, and um, that's what I like about this team this year. They've really been focused. You know, when you play 24 uh, uh, league games, 25 league games, um, and you have the record you have, you know, you, you know you got a group that is focused in the mind. And I think, um, you know, as we hit to the rest of the season, that's going to be important.